Welcome to Brown White Pages. Um, today I want to teach you how to check your analytics um, on Blogger. The Blogger analytics itself, I want to teach you how to check it. How do you check your Blogger analytics? On the back end, you have stats. This is where you check the analytics. You click on start. So once you click on start, this is what you will see. This is how the page look like. This is how the page look like. Um, all time start. This is all time. This is today. This is yesterday. This is this month. So it will be like this. This is for um, eight, nine. This is for the eleventh. So this is for post. This is the, this is how many views this post have gotten. This is how many views this post have gotten. So um, this is how you check your statistic or your analytics on a uh, on um, um, blogger. So seven days. Let's go for twenty four hours. So basically, this is how you check it. This is for the whole month what we've gotten. No comments. Two posts. Zero followers. This is for 24 hours. So this is what it is. Um, um, the next, uh, I'm going to teach you how to connect the Google Analytics with the with your blogger. How do you do that? After you click on Start, you scroll down to where you have more about this blog. Once you click more about the blog, this is the this is the T part of the analytics. These are the referrals, Google and uh, others. Uh, the main referrals are Google. These are the browser, uh, Android, iPhone, Linux, and a. Uh, uh, Macintosh, Macintosh, um, and uh, these are the keywords that are bringing people to the uh, post. Eighty-six. These are the countries: Nigeria and uh, Egypt. Wait, now. So, so if you want to connect this account to Google Analytics. You have to click on more on Google Analytics. So we are on Google Analytics. Let's wait for this page to load.
Uh, this is the, this Google Analytics account. I'm using it to manage other site, other websites. So this is one of the websites I'm managing. So then uh, the next is uh, is this. So after clicking this, then I will uh, I need to go back to the settings. There's a part where I have the Google Analytics. I want to know what they need for the for the. Sometimes you just need the ID itself. So this is it. Let's click on it. So the Google Analytics measure ID, measurement ID. So how do you do that? You start to create an account. You click on um, admin to create an account. This chat button, you click on it. This is where you have the admin. Then you click on create account. I need to get the name of the blog. Uh, the name of the blog, I need to get it. Uh, this is the name of the blog. So I need the name here, not the not the uh, domain name. This is the name. Uh, I will I will not space the name because there's no time. So I'll put the name here. There's a name. Then I'll tick here if I like Google products and services. Let's go down to where I have next. Next. This is next. Click on next. Then the property name, I'll still give it the name of the blog. The country, Nigeria. Uh, the currency, I prefer to go with dollar. Okay, I don't think there's Nigeria near here. Let's check. There's Nigeria near here. There's Nigeria here. But, uh, advance if you like. Nothing to do here the next. Go for this. Uh, let's check if there's a blog here. If there's a blog here, no blog. Uh, let's check something else. Computer, cloud, online community, travel, shopping. Uh, I'll go for shopping. Next, because the blog is all about shopping. Doesn't it? I'll take this. We take when you take this, it means that you are going for all of this. But if you take this, you cannot take this. If you take this, you cannot take this. If you take this, you cannot take this. If you take this, you cannot say that I'll go for this. Then I'll click on this and the other one at the bottom. That is two. One at the top, one at the bottom, then click on accept. Then what are we measuring website? We're measuring website. We, we basically want to know the data we need is data from websites. We want to know where the visitors are coming from and uh, how, what they did on the website and how they left the website. So I'll click on this. I'll put a website link here. The website domain name, the website address. And this is the ID they need. I'll copy this for the measurement. This is the ID they need. Normally, for other kind other websites, you don't use the ID. You post a, you paste the code on the website. You 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 paste the code at the back end of the website without activating. Put it in. So from now, once it's there, start measuring. 
and I will start getting data. So um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment with the kind of video you like me.